going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys listen i've seen a video during a news article in uh philly shout out philadelphia and uh it was talking about how unsafe the SEPTA system, which is the subway slash transportation slash elevated train system is, you know, how it's not safe out there. A video broke on the news about some a group of teens that robbed a woman. I want you to listen to what these people are saying about how bad the conditions and the unsafe it is for these people just to go to and fro on their daily travels on this train. And this is not just in Philly, it's a lot of other places, New York, Chicago, other places where people are acting a fool on trains and feel as though they have a right to treat you any way they want to treat you and do whatever they want to do with you because they feel as though they're in numbers or they just can and you can't do nothing about it. They need to have something where citizens should be able to arm themselves with some type of uh, weapon for self-defense and not be reluctant to pull it. Regular law-abiding uh, victims of this uh, type of uh, violence and strong arm robberies and stuff like that need to band together to cut this crap out. This type of behavior should be frowned upon. But it seems like nobody cares nowadays. Take a look at this and we'll come back and talk about it. Well, Tracy, Johnny, the images that police release, they are clear. At some moments during the robbery, you can see in the security camera footage that some of the suspects are smiling. But some passengers we spoke with about this say the crimes that they see, that they witness being committed on the L train specifically, are nothing to laugh about. Crack smoking, weed smoking, shooting up. Because they could be going to the bathrooms on them and everything. They don't care. People who take the L say if it's not people struggling with homelessness or drug use threatening their health and safety, it's kids. They want to push you. They want to hit you with their book bags and all of this stuff. If you try to say, you know, like put them to bed up a little bit, they act like you did something to them. Philadelphia police say the five people in these pictures are teenage boys, and they robbed a woman on the SEPTA L back on May 28th. In this video police released today, we see the group on the train tussling with a passenger. While that's going on, a woman gets up from her seat and walks to the exit as the train pulls up to a stop. One of the teen tugs her arm as she tries to walk off. Another teen then walks back onto the train as the door closes, blocking the woman from leaving. They then snatch her cell phone. One of them uses his body to push her against the wall, giving one of the teens a head start to run away. Police say the woman ran after them here at the 56 and market stop where they got away. Except it's not safe anymore. It's just not. Riders say they hope the pictures will help police find the teens, hold them accountable and restore safety on public transportation. Like I can't get into it with kids. You just kind of just got to ignore them. Sad to say, got to ignore them. Well, Tracy, Johnny, I've been speaking with SEPTA police representatives all day, and they say that this case just goes to show you if anybody does commit a crime on any of SEPTA's property, it will be recorded. The agency will pursue an investigation along with its law enforcement partners and make sure that it does its best to hold the perpetrators accountable. I'll send it back to you in the studio. We're live outside police headquarters in Spring Garden. Leah Uko, NBC 10 News. You guys, that's going to always be unruly teenagers. But the fact that now these kids are doing despicable crimes in front of other adults that they think are scared of them or they outnumber them or think, you know, nothing's going to happen to them makes this a recipe for disaster. It's like call it a wild now. That woman, they was messing with somebody. The guy was standing there. She got up. He was scouting her already. She got up. He started following her. He put his hands on her. That's somebody's mom, somebody's sister. You touching her? She tried to get up the train. 
you pull it back on your man already caught up on the uh, BS, run out the train, and then come in there, big dude, push her back in there, that's her stop. Then you rob her, run off the train, one guy hold the woman, the big dude, then they run off laughing. It's funny. It won't be so funny if people blow hamburger meat out your head on that train. Man, it's crazy. Everybody talking about we need to, uh, we can't do certain things to certain people that are disorderly because we need to keep order. But uh, by us sitting there and just taking this stuff, it throws us out of order. In a whole situation that's disorderly from the jump. If people ain't parenting their kids and them kids go out there and get smoked, that's on them. Because I'm going to be damned. I'll be damned if I'm sitting somewhere and some younger kids come up and start harassing my wife, harassing me, just rob me and then turn my day upside down. And all I can do is give a report. It was some kids with a mask on. How far you think that investigation is going to go? Only bright spot they said on the thing. Oh, well, if you're on SEPTA, you can be recorded. Don't matter. They got fucking bales on their fucking face. They got bales on their face. So it doesn't matter. You know how many people with masks on their face don't ever get caught? It's the stupidest thing. What if they had cut her face? What if they had sliced her with a razor? What if they had did anything? Nothing would have fixed her face or, or whatever. There are kids out here, man, that's just wild. It's like a lost generation, man. Seriously, some of them had book bags on. You're just coming from school? Back in the day, man, having fun was just hanging out with your friends and doing something like riding bikes or just playing video games. Or something. Nowadays, the fun thing is to do is fuck with other people. Act like baboons and, and pack rats and run up on people and snatch their stuff and run away laughing. Shit cost. You wouldn't like nobody doing that to your parents or you, but it's so easy to do that to somebody else. Of course, it's fun. Well, it wouldn't be fun when motherfuckers start getting their heads blown off by just common strangers that come together to stop this bullshit. It's a new type of criminal. New type of mindset, new type of person on this in this country. How the hell are we still using old laws and trying to keep law and order when a whole uh, mentality and mindset of a lot of people now, whether they're young or old, is disorderly? Somebody benefits from this, whether it's the uh, prison system, the plantation, taking these criminals in. Lawyers uh, charging a whole bunch of money to get somebody less time, even though they know they're guilty. People that are out here influencing this type of behavior, whether it's on social media, in movies or in rap videos. Somebody benefits from programming people to do this type of bullshit. It's a damn shame. I'm, man, I'm tired for the night. I, this, I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. When you make a mistake in life and you don't know right from wrong, that can be forgivable sometimes, depending on the degree of the offense. But when you're making willful errors and you like doing that shit, you need to smell the flowers. For real, you need to be shown the flowers. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.